Working with workspaces in Microsoft Team System. Workspaces is an essential part of Team System source control, and it is important that you master this concept. Workspaces essentially is a mapping between some locations on your source control repository and your local hard drive. Workspaces also maintain independently the checkout flags. Let's take a look at that. What that translates to, for example, could be that let's say you work in different environments, such as development, QA, staging, pre-production, production. These are different environments where sometimes it is necessary to maintain for some period of time a separate base of your code. To do so, you use workspaces and team system. For example, I currently have one workspace, which is my default workspace. But remember in the beginning that this particular workspace, I actually put my code into a folder called DEV for development. This was important because my default workspace is really my development workspace for my project, projects that is. So I'm going to call this guy development workspace. I'm going to click OK. It will update shortly on the Source Control Explorer dropdown. Let's add another workspace. For example, for quality assurance. QA workspace. I would like to map the QA workspace, which is from my trunk. I would like to map it to projects, but not under development, and instead creating a new folder called QA. Inside here, I will create another folder, just as we did previously with DEV called Project A. And that's it. All right, let's switch our workspace. Let's say I have a QA code base, which is different from my development code base. QA is working with it, some defects arise, and QA is contacting me and say, we like to build, and I think we're close to getting to release. However, there are a couple of things we need you to fix. We will do so within the QA workspace. Notice here, after switching the workspace, Everything in my folders view and my details view is grayed out again. That is because the workspace is currently empty. Let's verify. Here's my QA folder, my project A, but nothing inside. Let's get latest version on the trunk. And we get latest version for the QA workspace. It didn't ask us this time where we would like to put it because we already established a local path mapping to the source control repository by using the workspace setting for QA workspace. Great, now everything is local. So I can go ahead and open up my solution, my QA solution that is. This is important to remember. As you can see over here under the solution explorer, I still have my development solution open. However, currently I do not like to work on the development solution. I would like to work on the one that's out on my QA workspace. So I'm double clicking on the solution to open up my solution from the QA workspace. Done. Let's go back to my default CS file. Here's something interesting that happened. The Solution Explorer indicates that the file is checked out by someone else or in another place, where in fact the file has not been checked out. But what Visual Studio is really telling me here is that the file exists in different workspaces. It's a little bit confusing at first, but you get the hang of it. Let's double click on the file. There we go. Let's make some changes to that in my QA workspace. Great. 
Let's save that. Let's go back to the source control repository. Click on web. And here we see that in my QA workspace, I have checked out the file and it's marked for edit. Let's open up a separate instance of Visual Studio. Here, I would like to select my development workspace. Under my development workspace, I would like to look at the file that we have checked out from a QA workspace. Notice something important here. It actually shows me that the file had been checked out by myself, but under a different workspace. And that the file is not checked out in my development workspace. This is important to understand. What's happening is that under my QA, when I look at the default ASPX, let's click on properties. The read only flag has been removed, indicating to team system source control that the file has been checked out by me. Let's look at our development file. If I right click on the file and look at its properties, I notice that the read only flag is checked, indicating that the file is not checked out by me currently. This is how source control works on your local hard drive. This is important to understand. Let's go ahead and open up the solution from my development workspace. Now the icon on the Solution Explorer is correct. It is indicating that the file had been checked out by somebody else or in another place. Let's go ahead and open that file. As you can see, I do not see the changes that I just made on my QA workspace, which are made changes in QA workspace comment. What that allows me to do is that I can maintain two different code bases, therefore enabling me to work independently on different releases of my product.